Hey guys, I'm your boy Carolina Chris 26 and this is my YouTube uh, gaming channel that I recently started. I also have a YouTube channel where I post my comic book content, like um, comic book hauls every Wednesday, unboxing, CGC unboxing, Comic Con experiences, and I have a series called Native Heroes in Comics because I am a member of the Kohiri tribe. It's a Native American tribe here in North Carolina, um, and that channel is basically for my comic book content. I had been going live on that channel and I have almost 500 subscribers on that channel I just started doing comic book content on that channel like last October so I don't know if I'm doing good as far as subscribers or not but I do it uh, for the for the fun for the fun I'm not expecting to get paid off of it I know some people do get paid off of it but if I ever get to that point hey so be it uh, but um so my Carolina Chris PS4 channel is for my, my gameplay now keep in mind I am not a pro gamer obviously I'm not the best gamer out of my son uh, I, play, I play a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare right now. Uh, my son gets on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and he's getting like 30, 35, 40 kills every game. You know what I'm saying? So, and he don't like to play with his daddy because he's too good and his daddy's not that good. So that's how kids are. Uh, but um, last time I really, really got into a video game was the PlayStation 1. And I had an Xbox uh, 360 that I love. I actually love the controller with the Xbox a lot more than I do the PlayStation. But, um... So I am not that I'm not not the best player out there in the world, but I'm doing this is just fun, you know. And so you can say it's probably been 10, 15, 20 years since I really, really got into a, a video game, like as far as playing it on a, a daily basis. And PlayStation 4 I got like maybe a year and a half ago. It's set in my house uh, for almost a year, and I probably played it once or twice, you know. Uh, my mom was battling leukemia; uh, she passed away. Um, uh, year and a half ago and uh so but um so i really had had to take care of her I had to be with her all the time i have time to play video games you know so um and i played my game on this 65 inch 4k tv behind me and quality looks looks pretty good for me anyways uh i recently got a chair this is the x rocker um pedestal uh 2.1 wireless uh gaming chair and I seen a guy doing an unboxing video, and I inboxed him, or I hit him up on YouTube, and I asked him, what do you think about the chair? Like, how far, how big can you be to sit in this chair? Because I ordered one for my son. I have another box over here that's wrapped. He hasn't picked up his Christmas present yet, so he's got a big box with Christmas wrapping around it. And it's the Oak Mossy. It's like that, because he likes to go duck hunting and deer hunting, so it's the camouflage-looking color. And um, this is the black leather uh, joint. So I'm going to unbox it, put it together, and see what I think about it. So, okay. Ready? Let's do this. Completely done. Slide over. It's got to hook up the speakers, the Bluetooth next. The armrests, I don't know, man. They're kind of short, so I don't really see no purpose in them. If you didn't have them, you might roll out the chair. Uh, the leather's made pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, so you got speakers on the side. You got the one in the back. Got another one right here. I think I might eventually like change these out with like some some higher quality speakers, you know, to get that real awesome sound. Uh, nice cushion pillow here for your head. Stitching on it looks damn looks really good. Uh, little pads here. I'm not sure what those are for, but pretty cool. Um, got a little cushion here for your legs. Your butt goes here or right around here, depending on how, how big your butt is. But the armrests are really kind of short, so I think if they would have like maybe extended them out just a little bit more, it would have been a little bit better. But right now they serve a purpose; they're good. And then to keep the chair from like falling back forward. You had to put a pin in right here. You had to put this pin in. 
keep it from flying, folding, folding back up on you. Um, then you go right here to the control uh, portion of it. So you got the vibration right here. It vibrates the seat while you're playing the game. You got your on off button. Plug for your power source. Bass control. That's your volume right there. You got your switch here for your Bluetooth, I assume. Yeah, Bluetooth switch. Um, earphones, MP3 in, input, output. Um, and it has a the Bluetooth control, but you have to set that up to the TV. I'll have to do that next. So, yeah, so far so good, man, actually. And then you got your little adjuster here. Um, I think this is for adjusting the... The seat so it doesn't rock back as hard. Yeah. Yeah. See the armrest, how, how they're low? They're really low. I think if they would have put the armrest up a little higher, it would have been a lot better, but this ain't that bad, you know? And then maybe if they would have put like some like soft padding on the armrest, that way your elbows don't hit this hard plastic, you know, it would hurt your arm, your elbows. Yeah, see, I got that switch at the bottom adjusted. See, I can unloosen it, and I can be able to rock back a lot better than what I am right now. So it fits my weight. I'm around 190 pounds, 200. Um, yeah. I got to vacuum the floor and clean up the floor here. I mean, I got I got gift presents over there. My son and daughter haven't got their Christmas presents yet. And today's December the 26th. So my son actually has one of these, too. So when he comes over tomorrow to get his gifts, he's going to see mine. When he opens it, he'll know what he's got. Except his is, is like the camouflage colors, the mossy, you know, so mossy oak. So yeah, guys, now all I got to do next is hook up the sounds of this baby and uh, cut on the PS4 and let's give it a whirl, see, see how it does. I doubt it'll help my gaming, but it might feel a little bit better, get my butt kicked, you know, I got something soft to sit on. All right, guys, uh, I am hot, so next we hook up the sound. Alright, so, as you can hear, the speakers through the headset, there was no speakers coming through my TV, you can't hear no speakers on my TV whatsoever. These are only the speakers on the, the, the chair at the moment. Now, what I can't tell is, say, if with the headphones, you can actually hear somebody's, like, little footsteps creeping up behind you. I don't know if you'll be able to hear them with this chair, because I got a fan going in the background, so that might cut out any chance of me hearing anyone creeping up behind me. I don't know if these speakers are that good to where you can actually hear somebody coming up today. There's something better as far as wearing headphones than it is uh, just going without the headphones. Now, um, with headphones, you can hear people creep, but without the headphones, you're still able to talk to someone on like Call of Duty through your controller here. Um, and all I gotta do is, I plug the green plug into my headphones here. Sorry, plug them in there, and then I also, I also plug the headphones into here and that sets up the chair you being able to hear hear um, games the game through the chair now the back sub on the back vibrates the mess out of your back while stuff's exploding um, I think you might have to go into the settings of the controller to be able to adjust or the sound settings to be able to adjust um, the the people on the game not the people talking on the game but the actual game itself telling you uh, you're almost there. One more kill. You, you know, the guy that talks, the woman that talks. Uh, like enemy inbound, you know. Uh, so I think you have to go on the controller and the, the game and adjust the sounds on that. But other than that, uh, this, this chair is pretty awesome, bro. I am going to upgrade these speakers on this chair because I want to see what it really sounds like with some real, real good speakers. 
they're three inch speakers in the, the sides and a five inch speaker in the back so i'm pretty sure i can find like top name brand at not a bad price for those sizes you know what i mean so so far yeah good review on this chair man it's actually a great chair a couple flaws but you know still you know what i mean i paid 155 dollars plus tax for my chair so i think regular price is 200 dollars. so i got it on sale so yeah guys i'm your boy carolina chris two six and also if you like comic book content uh comic book halls unboxings comic cons etc etc check my youtube channel out carolina chris two six spelled with c's not with k's this is carolina chris ps4 and i will be changing that name here really soon because i don't really like that name you take care have a safe safe happy new year's peace after a lot of extensive gaming and watching movies in this uh x rocker gaming chair um it's not bad man it's not bad uh, also, the elbow um, rest here on the side that I was complaining about being so short is probably going to be a problem. The height is perfect how they sit for me. Uh, one thing about it is they're made of a hard plastic, so if you have very sensitive elbows, it might bother you after a while. So it might have been cool if there would have been a little bit of padding on these things, but, you know, it's all good. Maybe a little bit of leather padding on them compared to all the leather that they put on the chair. Um, the speakers are wonderful. The surround sound is amazing. The wireless um, control that I put behind my TV is perfect. Just put two AAA batteries in it. Set the settings, uh, the switch to three, one, two, or three, one, two, or three on the box, one, two, or three on the chair. Uh, the volume knob on the side is perfect to get to. It's got a little notch in it where you can adjust the volume if you want on the chair. Uh, <laughs> one thing about it is, say if you're playing like Call of Duty, which I do a lot, Modern Warfare, and you have to take your headphones off to hear the, the for the chair surround sound system taking effect uh, if you take your headphones out the sound from the chair and the tv the other gamers can hear it through the mic on the the controller so it affects them because if they're trying to hear someone creep up on them through the headphones while playing the game they can't hear with the loud noise in the background of the chair and the tv going through the the, the mic on the controller so you got to plug your headphones back in on the controller and once you plug your headphones in on the controller it basically you hear the sound on the chair, the, the 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 vibration of the chair, the speakers. You can't hear them; they're pretty much no good at that point. Um, but when you don't have the headphones plugged in, uh, the big subwoofer on the back of this chair, when it vibrates, it's like it's rubbing your back, man. It is so oh my god, yeah, it's like a vibrating chair rubbing your back. The speakers on the side, perfect. The surround sound on the chair is wonderful, especially if you're just watching a movie. But if you're playing like Call of Duty where you've got to use your headset or your mic, um, well, it's kind of a problem at that point. But, yeah, um, other than that, though, I'd give this chair a strong 7, a hard 7 out of 10 as far as uh, where I would get it on my ratings. You know, the comfort, it's amazing. I actually fell asleep for 45 minutes last night when I got done putting this chair together. I just sat back in it and I rocked and rocked and rocked and passed out. So it's a very, very comfortable chair. Um, wonderful playing games in it. I had, had probably a good game last night as far as uh, uh, gameplay goes. Uh, it's awesome watching movies on it. Um, let me see here. Hold on a second. Maybe I can give you a kind of a idea of what it sounds like. Vibration on my back right now. I was like, oh my god, wonderful. So, as you can tell, the surround sound on the chair is wonderful. So, the sound surround sound on the chair is wonderful. The only problem is uh, taking the headphones out of your controller, it's going to cause problems uh, on online gameplay. If you're playing something like Call of Duty where you've got to have complete quietness in the background to hear people creeping up on you through the headphones. That's kind of a problem, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know how they can fix that, but pretty good chair though, all in all. Take care, guys. Peace.